making corrections after filing with the IRS. This tutorial will demonstrate how to make corrections to your records after you have filed with the IRS. By this step you should have printed and mailed forms to your recipients and filed with the IRS either through our Service Bureau, our printed paper process via 1096, or our electronic file creation process for direct submission to the IRS Fireside. On the upper left corner of the screen, make sure you have the correct filer and the correct form selected. Then, under the first step entitled Preparing My Forms, click on Work With My Tax Forms. You should see all of your records for that filer and form. In the Status column, your records will display a status of SB Filing if you filed with our Service Bureau, or Filed 1096 if you mailed printed paper via 1096, or Filed MAG if you filed directly to the IRS Fireside. Double click on the recipient you would like to correct. A new screen will appear stating, This is a protected form. Because this form has been filed or uploaded, the original can no longer be updated. You will have two options to select from. View the form to view the original form, or Create Correction to create a corrected version of the previously filed form. Press the Create Correction button. If this is the first time that you have accessed 1099 Pro Corrections, a pop-up window will appear which asks you if you would like to view the online overview before proceeding. It is highly recommended that you read the overview. Press Yes to read it. Please read the overview and related subcategories. When you are done reading, close the window. There are two main types of corrections that can be made. The first correction is a recipient correction that either changes the recipient taxpayer identification number, 10, or recipient name. If you perform this type of correction, the software will provide a pop-up box asking whether or not you want the software to update all other pending forms for this recipient with the new recipient information. Updating the pending forms is the most commonly used choice. The second correction type is an amount correction, which changes the dollar amount in one of the boxes on the form. For the purposes of this tutorial, we will show you two examples of corrections. In our first example, we will delete the recipient 10 completely and then enter the correct number. Press Tab when you are done. A pop-up window will ask if you want to update the current recipient or switch to a new different recipient. For our example, press 1, Update. The corrected field will change to blue. A correction window at the bottom of the form will automatically discern the type of correction you've made. Based on the type of correction, the software will tell you what entities you will need to send a copy of the corrected form to. Please make a note of which entities will need a copy of the correction. Once you have made the necessary corrections, select Save Form at the lower right corner of the form. A window will appear showing that you've just made changes to the form and will ask you if you would like to update the recipient's record on all other pending forms. Check the box to update all other pending forms with these changes as well. Then press Yes, apply these changes. Another window will pop up stating how many updates are pending due to the changes and ask to proceed with the update. Press the Yes button. The software will tell you how many records were updated with the changes. Press OK to continue. In accordance with IRS requirements, whenever there is a recipient 10 or name correction, the original recipient must receive a zeroed out form while the newly updated recipient receives the newly modified form. 1099 Pro software will discern the type of correction and process it accordingly. A window will appear letting you know that the second form with zero dollar amounts was created for you. Press OK. The screen will now display your correction history and status for this recipient. Press Close in the bottom right hand corner. You will now see three records listed for the recipient. The record with the original status of SB filing, a record with the status of correction pending, 
that has your new corrections and a new record with the status of zero pending that has your original recipient information with the amounts zeroed out. 1099 Pro tracks corrections this way so that you can always have a copy of the original form, the corrected form, and the zeroed out form for your records. For our second example, we will make an amount correction to a 1099 miscellaneous. Double click on a record that needs an amount correction. Press the Create Correction button. We will correct the box 7 amount and press Tab. The corrected field will change to blue. A correction window at the bottom of the form will automatically discern the type of correction you've made. Once again, based on the type of correction, the software will tell you what entities you'll need to send a copy of the corrected form to. Please make a note of which entities will need a copy of the correction. Once you have made the necessary corrections, select Save Form at the lower right hand corner of the form. The screen will now display your correction history and status for this recipient. Press Close in the bottom right corner. For this type of change, you will now see two records listed for the recipient. The record with the original status of SB filing and the record with the status of correction pending. You now have a number of options available to you. If you have additional corrections to make, please repeat this process for other records that need correcting. Otherwise, you can now choose to print, mail, and or file the corrected forms using the same processes as are available for the standard printing, mailing, and filing.